In the moonlit forests of Romania, a vampire named Andre lived in a perpetual state of terror. Centuries ago, hunters from the nearby village of Alba Iulia discovered his lair and drove him from the ancient crypts where he had once ruled. They chased him across mountains, rivers, and endless stretches of land, their torches and stakes never far behind. But Andre had not always been a fugitive. Once, he was a feared lord of the night, mending mortals to his will, feasting on their blood without hesitation. But after a fateful encounter with an ancient vampire hunter, the tables had turned. For decades, Andre ran across continents, through crumbling cities, deep into forgotten forests. His body weakened from starvation, and his mind grew frail from isolation. He no longer sought the thrill of the hunt but merely the hope of surviving one more night. His pale skin grew paler, almost translucent, and his fangs, once sharp as daggers, dull from disuse. He wandered, seeking sanctuary in places where even his kind rarely ventured. Abandoned monasteries, forgotten dungeons, the ruins of castles long claimed by nature. Each time he rested, the dream of a return flickered in his mind a return to power, to blood, to the fear he once instilled in the hearts of men. After years that felt like eternity, the hunters stopped following. The world outside had forgotten Andre, and he grew stronger in his isolation. He found an ancient tomb deep within the Carpathians, a place untouched by human hands for centuries. There, he slumbered for what felt like ages, allowing the earth to nourish him with dark energies, awakening the dormant power within his blood. As he rested, his strength returned, magnified by the ancient forces that pulsed through the ground. When Andre finally emerged, he was no longer the pale, broken figure that had fled the hunters. His body was restored, his fangs sharp again, and his hunger for power rekindled. But he was different now, more calculating, more patient. He knew that in his absence, the world had changed. The village of Alba Iulia, where his downfall had begun, was no longer the same, and the hunters who once pursued him had grown old, their descendants unaware of the dark legacy that lay beneath their feet. Andre's eyes gleamed with a new purpose as he set his sights on Alba Iulia once more. He would return, not to merely haunt the night, but to reclaim what was his, to build an empire of darkness that would rival even the oldest myths. But this time, he would be cautious. He would not strike immediately. Instead, he would observe, study, and learn the weaknesses of those who now ruled the land. He would let them feel safe, secure, even happy, before descending upon them with the wrath of centuries lost. As he made his way toward the village, the air around him grew colder, the shadows stretching unnaturally long. He was no longer running. But there was something darker, something sinister still following him an unseen force that had watched him even during his exile. He had escaped the hunters, but had he truly escaped everything? The night closed in, and Andre could feel the weight of something far older than himself stirring in the distance, watching him, waiting. As Andre approached the outskirts of Alba Iulia, he felt a strange sense of familiarity mixed with foreboding. The village had grown over the years but the heart of it the ancient streets and narrow alleys remained the same. Yet something was off. The air was heavier here, thick with an unnatural quiet. It was as if the village was waiting, holding its breath. Andre wandered through the shadows, unseen, unnoticed. His enhanced senses picked up faint whispers of laughter and the warmth of life behind closed doors, but no one walked the streets after dark. A century ago, the villagers would have bolted their doors in fear of creatures like him. But this was different. There was no fear just an eerie calm, as if they knew something he didn't. He reached the center of the village, standing before the stone chapel, its fire looming like a claw into the night sky. The chapel was the same one where the hunters had once gathered, where they plotted his demise. He could almost see their faces, feel the burning of their torches in the distance. But those memories felt distant now, like a faded dream. Andre stepped toward the chapel door, intent on exploring the place where his greatest enemies had once met. As his hand touched the heavy iron handle, a low creaking noise echoed from behind him. He turned sharply. In the square, at the edge of his vision, a figure stood, 
cloaked in shadows, its form barely visible under the dim light of a single flickering street lamp. Andre's heightened senses told him it wasn't human. He watched it silently, expecting it to move, to flee, or to reveal itself. But the figure remained still, watching him with the same intensity he used to steady his prey. Who are you? Andre's voice was low, almost a growl. The figure didn't answer, but the air around them seemed to thicken. A coldness Andre hadn't felt in centuries crept up his spine. He was a predator, an ancient force, yet this being unnerved him in a way he couldn't explain. The figure finally stepped forward, just enough for Andre to catch a glimpse of its pale face beneath the hood. It was a woman. Her eyes glowed faintly, but not in the way of any vampire he had encountered. There was something ancient about her presence, something far older than the village, older than even him. You returned, she whispered, her voice barely more than a hiss. Just as it was foretold, Andre frowned. What do you mean? Who are you? The woman tilted her head, her lips curling into a faint smile. Did you think you were the only one watching, Andre? Did you think your exile was unnoticed? Before Andre could react, the woman vanished into the shadows as swiftly as she had appeared, leaving behind a whisper on the wind. You've only begun to understand the game. Suddenly, Andre felt something shift beneath his feet, as if the very earth was alive, pulsating with an energy he had never encountered before. It wasn't just power he felt, it was something far darker, something ancient, something that had been waiting for him to return. He turned toward the chapel again, but this time, he saw it for what it truly was, not just a place of worship, but a symbol of barrier, holding something back. And the moment he touched that door, he knew he had awakened it. A deep rumbling echoed from the depths of the earth, and a chill that cut to the bone swept through the air. The shadows grew longer, the wind howled, and a voice ancient and malevolent whispered through the darkness. You thought you escaped us, but you were never free. Andre's mind raced. He had returned to reclaim his dominion, but now he realized something far greater had been waiting for him. Something that had been trapped dormant during his long absence and now because of him it was stirring a force older than any vampire older than any hunter a force that knew his name the ground beneath the village trembled as ancient chains hidden for centuries began to break andre could feel that something was coming something that even he with all his newfound power might not be able to stop he had come to take back his kingdom but now he feared he had unleashed something far worse. Andre's eyes narrowed as he backed away from the chapel, his mind reeling with uncertainty. What had he awakened? And how would he stop it? In the distance, the sound of approaching footsteps echoed. The villagers, or something else? Andre was no longer the hunted, but for the first time in centuries, he wasn't sure if that made him the predator either. Something far darker had taken its place. And as the darkness closed in around him, Andre realized his battle had just begun. The tremors beneath Andre's feet intensified, but he refused to run. He had spent many years fleeing from enemies, hunters, and even his own past. This time, he stood his ground. As the rumbling grew louder, the sky above darkened unnaturally, and a strange force seemed to pulse from the heart of the village. The earth cracked open, and from the depths of the ancient chapel, a wave of dark energy began to rise. Shadows moved with a life of their own, coiling like serpents, feeding on the fear in the air. Andre's mind raced. He could sense the malevolent force emerging, a presence older than even the myths of vampires, bound to the land by ancient rituals. It had waited for his return, feeding on the dormant energies left behind when he was exiled. The hunters had been protecting the village from more than just him they had been guarding against this. The whispers grew louder filling his head with promises of power, of dominion over the world of the living and the dead. It tempted him to surrender, to let this dark force consume him and rise as a true master of death. But Andre, once the predator, had learned something during his long exile. Power without control was destruction. He had seen what it did to those who sought it mindlessly, and he knew he couldn't allow that fate for himself or anyone. The woman in the shadows reappeared, her hood still concealing her face, but her voice sharp with warning. You cannot fight it alone. 
It has waited for too long. Andre glanced at her, his eyes narrowing. Then help me. What is it? She hesitated for a moment before speaking. It is the essence of death itself. A force bound to this place, sealed by those who came long before. You were never its target, Andre. You were its key. A realization hit him. His return had broken the seal. The energy from the earth had fed on his ancient power, awakening this forgotten entity. But if he was the key, then he could be the one to lock it away again. I won't let it destroy everything, Andre muttered, more to himself than to her. The woman stepped forward, her pale hands lifting from the folds of her cloak. There is a way, but it will take more than just strength. You will need to sacrifice part of your power to restore the seal. You will not be as strong as you were, but it will save you and the world from something far worse. The thought of losing his newfound strength gnawed at him. He had spent years rebuilding himself, honing his power, preparing for his return to dominance. But now, standing before the yawning abyss of something darker than any nightmare, Andre realized true strength wasn't about ruling through fear, it was about control, about knowing when to act and when to sacrifice. The ground beneath them shook violently as the dark force began to fully manifest. Andre nodded, his decision made. Tell me what to do. The woman stepped closer, her voice now steady. You must return to where it all began, to the crypt beneath the chapel. Find the essence with your own blood, the blood of the first vampire, the blood that broke the seal. Andre moved swiftly, entering the chapel and descending the ancient stairs into the crypt where he had once ruled. The air was thick with the scent of decay and old magic. He could feel the pull of the entity below, its power surging trying to escape into the world above. At the center of the crypt, an ancient altar stood, marked with runes of binding. This was where he had been turned, where his curse had begun centuries ago. He hesitated for a moment, feeling the weight of his past pressing down on him. But there was no time for doubt. Drawing a dagger from his belt, Andre sliced across his palm, letting his blood spill onto the altar. The air crackled with energy as the blood soaked into the stone, and a bright light flared, pushing back the encroaching darkness. The malevolent whispers turned into screams as the force recoiled, its power being drawn back into the earth. The ground trembled, the very air vibrating with the clash of energies. But Andre stood firm, his blood flowing freely onto the altar. He could feel his strength waning as the seal reformed, binding the dark essence back to the earth. The crypt shook violently, but he held on, pouring the last of his power into the ritual. Finally, with a blinding flash, the darkness was sealed away, the earth quiet once more. Andre collapsed to his knees, weak but alive. The overwhelming power he had felt coursing through him was gone, drained to complete the binding. He was still a vampire, but no longer the unstoppable force he once was. And yet, he felt a strange sense of peace. The woman emerged from the shadows once again. It is done. You have saved them all. Andre stood slowly, his body still weak from the ordeal. I did what I had to. The woman nodded, a faint smile on her lips. And in doing so, you proved something greater than power alone. You chose control, Andre. And that makes you stronger than any hunter, any dark force. As the first light of dawn began to creep through the cracks in the ancient walls, Andre turned to leave the crypt. He no longer sought dominion, no longer needed to be feared. He had found something far more powerful peace within himself. The villagers would never know what had been lurking beneath their feet, but Andre did. And for the first time in centuries, he felt no need to return to them as a conqueror. He had survived, and in doing so, he had saved the world from a far greater darkness. Andre disappeared into the shadows of the forest content to live in peace. But the legend of the vampire who once ruled all but Yulia would continue to haunt the night only now. It would be a tale of sacrifice, not terror.